Hello friends, my name is Dr. Gaurav Agrawal. I am a pediatric cardiologist working in Delhi. Today I will discuss a common test commonly known as the fetal echo test that we conduct during pregnancy for assessing the fetus heart in detail. This is an educational video and should not replace the proper medical advice. Question is why should we undergo fetal echo test? What are the timings when we should undergo? What are the indications in which we should conduct the fetal echo test? And who is the specialist or ideal doctor for conducting fetal echo cardiology? What is the meaning of fetal echo test? It is just like an ultrasound test that we are routinely doing for assessing any fetus during pregnancy and doesn't involve any x-ray or radiation like things and it is not having any harmful effect on the mother or the fetus. But this focus mainly on the fetus heart or assessing various holes in the heart like ASD, PSD, PDA abnormal positions of the vessels in the heart like TG or transposition of blood vessels, abnormal heart valves like Epstein anomaly, aortic pulmonary abnormal heartbeat, commonly known as the arrhythmias, like bradycardia when the heart rate is low, tachycardia when the heart rate is fast, uh, how is the heart pumping, whether it is low or not, and flexion around the root, known as the pericardial effect. In this diagram you can see, this is the ultrasound probe that is kept on the mother abdomen and this is the fetus and this is the form in which uh, we are conducting the fetal echo test. Now question is on why to do fetal echo test. Heart defects, uh, birth heart defects in the children are known as the congenital heart diseases and the incidence of these heart defects are 8 to 10 per thousand live births. Mean, meaning by out of thousand live births, 8 to 10 are having some form of heart disease in their body and 30 percent of the neonatal Deaths occurs due to the congenital heart diseases and 10% of the infant mortality occurs due to the congenital heart disease. It is very high in number. And uh, normal neonatal examination that every pediatrician and neurologist is doing at birth doesn't exclude a heart disease in that child. And 25% of the neonate with complex heart disease is charged after delivery undiagnosed. So these are the serious forms of heart diseases that should be diagnose even before the birth so that we can timely pick the problem and we can uh, counsel the family in the same way. So duct dependent systemic blood flow when the major blood vessels of the heart known as the aorta is severely obstructed or interrupted like severe coarctation of aorta or critical aortic stenosis. When there is a duct dependent pulmonary flow means when there is a vessel that is supplying blood to the lungs are obstructed or atrectic means interrupted. And there is failure of mixing of blood in case of transposition of great vessels when there is mixing is required for survival of the child. So for these type of problems, we can diagnose the fetus even before the birth of the fetus so that we can decrease the perinatal mortality. Timing of fetal echo, ideally the fetal echo should be done by 18 weeks onward and up to 24 weeks it should be conducted. But even in this, the ideal time is less than 20 weeks of the gestation. Common indication in which we should conduct the fetal echo test is when the mother is diabetic and mother is a known case of uh, SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus or final cutaneous area is there. Some drug exposure like anticonvulsant that are used for the epilepsy or some x-ray exposure during pregnancy. Metal and infection during pregnancy like rubella or torch, IVF pregnancy and maternal age more than 35 years of age are the indication for conducting fetal echo test. When the fetus is having abnormal ultrasound test in any trimester of the pregnancy, I drops fetalis when there is a fluid collection around the heart and the body and the skin. Increased nuchal thickness that we commonly found in first level trimester ultrasound by the radiologist. Twins are also an indication for the fetal echo test and some fetal heartbeat disorders during routine ultrasound are also an indication for fetal echo test. Familial, mother or father is a known case of congenital heart disease. Previous child or fetus is a known case of congenital heart disease. Familial syndromes are also an indication for fetal echo test. By doing fetal echo test, in every pregnancy, uh, heart disease will be there. It is not like that. CSD, congenital heart disease diagnosis are made in 3 to 25% of cases referred for fetal echo. And highest is when the abnormal cardiac ultrasound is screening done by radiologist. And lowest when the mother is a known case of diabetes, age is more, and other indications. Meaning by in high risk group, when we are conducting fetal echo test, the indication that I already told, listed you, we can diagnose uh, only 10% of the fetus will have some form of heart disease. Meaning by 90% of the fetus, uh, those who are not having high risk 
features uh, will be missed if we are focusing on this type of cases. So, so we should conduct in every pregnancy, ideally should be, but it involves the expertise because there is uh, less expertise available for conducting fetal echo test and the cost is also involved. So we should conduct fetal echo in, in the indicated cases uh, that I told you and along with when the screening USG is showing some form of abnormality, that pregnancy ideally should be undergo for fetal echo test. The question is from who is the ideal specialist or doctor for conducting fetal echo test? Fetal echo test should ideally be done by a pediatric cardiologist only because pediatric cardiologist is a, a doctor who deals with all sorts of fetal and pediatric children, heart diseases in detail and they are much aware in which direction the prognosis of that particular heart problem can go. And we, uh, uh, they can also tell you the prognosis of that problem. Thank you very much.